You know what's killing creativity, spontaneity, authenticity, honesty? Is our need or desire to be liked, our desire for approval, our desire to be perfect. And one of the most freeing things we can do and beneficial to conversations is to say it wrong. Most people in conversations, especially people you don't know or are acquaintances with, there's this false pretense that everybody puts forth. No, you know what? It's in most relationships. It's not even just people we don't know. We have been conditioned to say what other people want to hear. And it starts from a very young age when we say things that are inappropriate or honest or direct, you can't say that, Billy. That's rude. Don't say something like that. Apologize right now. And so we've been conditioned. And so much of who we are today is based on our conditioning when we were children. So we've grown up to learn not to rock the boat. And what this creates is just a dull sense of phoniness in conversations and communications with people. And there is a great liberty, although the cost is higher, but it's a, co- it's a cost worth paying. There's a great liberty in saying it wrong. And saying and fumbling over our words or saying something that, a joke or something that people don't laugh at. <clears throat> Or just speaking our honest, truthful feelings. That How refreshing and freeing is that to be able to speak truthfully from your heart, honestly. It just so rarely happens in communication. And what we've done is we've conditioned people to be phony. And it's so normal now that we don't even see it as phony. We don't even see it as lying. Oh, hi, how are you? Oh, I'm good. So what's new? Oh, call me and we'll get together. And when someone speaks honestly, truthfully, authentically, be prepared to get ridiculed, be prepared to get criticized, be prepared uh, to lose some friends. But those are friends that you don't really need anyways. And I'm not speak, talking about speaking honestly, being mean to someone. I'm just saying, let's be real, man. It feels so good to be real. It's The shackles are taken off. <coughs> I mean, from everything, from politicians to celebrities, everything is phony. People say what they think will win the most approval. Damn, bless the man or woman that doesn't care about the pro- approval but cares more about speaking speaking from the heart. And you might have to forewarn people that if you do start practicing radical honesty, because nobody's used to it. There's very few people. I can't tell you how many people that get offended just by being truthful. And we've created such a victim mentality that people don't take responsibility for their own internal well-being They blame it on the other person. You made me feel bad. You hurt me. (coughs) It's your fault I'm sad or upset or angry. And what are we teaching the people we communicate with? If we say this to other people and blame them for our hurt, first of all, how can they control our own internal universe? Never give up your control to somebody external, whether it be your boss, your family, your spouse. You control your inner peace. Not what a, not sound vibrations echoing in your ear. So what we teach this person that we are upset with because they made us unhappy is we teach them not to be honest. And now people still have the same feelings 
but they just keep them all inside. So there's no authentic communication. And then what happens is you get um, a pressure cooker effect. So people keep stuff inside, and I'm sure this is a huge contri uh, contributor to divorce, um, problems with uh, parents and their children. The parent, the pressure cooker starts building up because people now say, oh, I can't say that because if I say that, they're going to be upset with me. And, okay, I'm going to bury it inside. Oh, this really kind of hurt me or bothered me or something I wanted to say. I can't say that either. And there's no openness. There's a guarded cage-like cell that we kind of confine ourselves to. And our outlet, and this is the re our outlet is gossip. And this is the reason people love to gossip because they can't be honest to the person that they are speaking to. It's a cowardly form of confrontation, not even confrontation, of honest communication. Can you believe what this person did? And that I, the nerve of them. And so they say it, but they say it to other people behind their back. Man, that is really cowardly. And it, it, you don't feel good. We don't feel good when we gossip about other people. It just intuitively, there's something within us that knows it's wrong. And the way around that is just slow and steady, increase the amount of our honesty, our radical honesty. And if you start small, you start seeing the rewards and benefits of it. It's just, you can just be who you are. We expend so much or waste so much life energy trying to play a role, trying to be someone we're not. And what has it gotten us? I mean, even politicians. Who wants to be a politician today? Because you have to... Everything is so calculated. Every word out of your mouth is so manipulated and contrived and articulated to win popular support that we don't believe anything they say. Well, the reason they became like that, I mean, part of the reason, there's other reasons, is because every time a politician has spoke, spoken truthfully and honestly, I mean, he's gotten slammed. And that's what other people love to do, is they love to pick apart people. So if your happiness is not dependent on external, on approval, <coughs> or what people think of you, and that is the greatest gift you can give yourself. So let's practice radical honesty. Thanks for listening.